Hi, my name is Stephanie Shalana Brown, and I am a photographer from the Virgin Islands. But I reside on St. Croix, and most of my work reflects Christian culture. Today we are highlighting um, persons from my maternal and paternal family, whom both have a long legacy of um, having residence in the area of Christian said town, which people know as Free Gut, and some of those people are called Hillsiders. I'm doing this project today to highlight the people from Free Gut. I read a book called Forgotten Lands, um, which highlights a number of Caribbean artists. But in the first edition of the book, there was a local artist from St. Croix that purchased a piece of land here in Christianstead Town. And she did a bit of research and she found out who the original owners were. And she highlighted that, you know, Free Gut is just more than just a saying that the hillsiders that came from this area were some of the first colored people to own property in this area. And then when I searched further, I always knew, because I grew up in Christianstead Town, that my uh, family were called hillsiders. So I brought with me my Aunt Vel and my mother Marjorie Brown, who um, lived on Queen Cross Street near the market at where the popular dining spot Balters is located. And they shared fond memories of growing up in Christianstead. I think the hillsiders always lived for each other in the community and always would be partying or have a reason to party and they would always pick up um, back then the native um, instruments you know like they would have like washboard mm -hmm. and, um, and shake 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 tell me a little bit about the pride in the area and the pride everybody had in their families and maybe how people work together a lot and making in if you didn't have something your neighbor would give it to you oh yeah that, that was in a lot you know um and also the kids you know we still were you are seen and not heard <laughs> oh well i know about that and um <laughs> that that was forever but everybody knew you mm -hmm and everybody owned a piece of you. Right, a community from... raised you. I have my cousin, Miss Luella, and another cousin named Miss Sandy, along with my father, Steve Brown, that shared their memories of growing up with a, a intersectional family where a brother and sister married another set of brother and sister, and that family is called Cartier Fair. They also shared the large migrations of Virgin Islanders who moved to New York um, starting from the 20s up to the 50s, you know, we didn't have any inferiority complex about anything. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing about living in the Virgin Islands, we are the majority, we're not a minority. But that is why a lot of Caribbean people that went up to New York end up being big parts of um, the Harlem Renaissance because they had already lived in the Caribbean where the they were the majority, majority and did not in, in, in close counters receive racism and so when from my studies so when they went to new york and then they encountered it it was like they already had a strong sense of self and was able to fight back right right right, right. and daddy broke. when you used to visit um from new york like what's your experiences of you know being here with your cousins great memories <laughs> i couldn't wait for the next time to come so i could come back yeah. Yeah. And when my mother brought me back permanently, it was... How old were you at that time? Paul my name, please? Yeah. 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 He was About like 12. Yeah. About 12. Okay. Yeah, so I did move back Yeah, we, and me and my mother, we stayed here permanently after that. And um, I was glad to get out of New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because you can't do the things in New York that you could have done here. <laughs> that you could do here, right? I think this project is significant because even if you are not a Virgin Islander or not from the island of St. Croix, um, it's important to know who the persons that you know have brought you and molded the community that you're in at this time to who you are. I'm sharing my legacy with other individuals in hopes that other people look for their legacies and build their own legacies as well.